what's going on we're going to quickly show you how to file a tax return for Louisiana and so you're here at latap.revenue.louisiana.gov go ahead and put your information in there it sends a security code to your email so you just quickly go to your email and you grab the most recent security code go back and here Drop that in, confirm, now you're in. Uh, most likely you'll see Action Center. It'll, it'll tell you how many returns you need. Some people, it'll probably show multiple months if you haven't done this. Just go ahead and hit File Return. <coughs> Motor Vehicle Sales, no. Hit Next. Um, here, you can put your EIN. Uh, doesn't matter in which one of these you put it and you're just regular uh, taxpayer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab mine really quick. Um, okay, gross sales of tangible personal property. So, this is where you can go and log into your Amazon account, pull up a report for July, go into your Walmart account, pull up the orders, and pull up um, your report for July for Louisiana. You just filter by state, grab the sales. You can throw it in here. So let's say it's, and for me, this was $0. Um, I know it already. But let's say it was $1,000. You know, this is the correct way of doing things. You put $1,000 in there cost of this property of the tangible property then you can go into Amazon and pull out the costs and let's say you're operating at 20% margins or so so maybe this is 700 you account for some fees and blah 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 so we get about 1700 um, in cost of gross sales of tangible personal property cost of tangible personal property um, you can forget about this Okay. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put $1,000 in gross sales, and we just care about the gross sales at the moment. Um, that's what you're gonna be taxed on. So you go ahead and hit next. Here, do you have any allowable deductions? You're gonna push yes. You do have allowable deductions, hit next. And here's the interesting thing, right? Because we're, if you read all this stuff, um, we're obviously not selling prepaid telephone cards and all this stuff. Down here, it's sales for resale. It's saying, you know, what percent are you exempted? So you can see it's 100%. So if here, if I know I put in $1,000, then you're gonna see that $1,000 pops up there. So it all, it's basically a wash transaction. So do you have any transactions that are subject to drop tax? No. Um, I'm not gonna complete this all the way, but as you can see, gross sales is 1,000, totals 1,000, allowable deductions is 1,000. It ends up being a zero dollar tax return. Um, gross tax due is zero, the line tension of so it's zero. You hit next. So then you just put your prepare your name and all this stuff. For me, again, I know I actually did zero dollars in Louisiana. So I'm just gonna go to file return. Uh, hit no here. So if you know you did zero dollars, then you can just go back in here leave those as zero it's honestly this easy and then you hit no it's all zero anyways no hit next paid prepare name if uh, firm's name so you didn't pay anybody to do it if you're doing it yourself and so you just go next uh, change of status nope it's not applicable hit next your general research return, five periods ready for review, final review, date due, code order, print, okay, no, no. Yep, let's submit. And then here, if you're using LastPass, it's pretty nice because you just come in here, put your password in, hit OK, and then that's it. You just filed your Louisiana tax return. All right, let me know if you have any questions.